Hi everyone. In this task, you will be displaying the Fibonacci sequence using a recursion. So the task description says, write a program that takes the number of terms to be displayed in the Fibonacci sequence from the user and returns the modified sequence using recursion. So we talked about recursion before and uh, you need to you know you have a concrete idea of the fibonacci sequence how you can generate it uh, the difference is that you need to have a concrete idea of recursive functions functions that call themselves as well and it is going to be very 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 simple you just need to have practiced the recursion lectures that we have talked about so i'm sure you're going to do great so uh pause the video attempt the mini program I'm going to see you after three seconds with my solution. All right, how was the mini program? I'm sure you did great. So first off, I'm gonna create a function. I'm gonna call it Fibo instead of all the Fibonacci sequence names. So I'm gonna say if n is less than or equal to, less than or equal to zero, sorry, one, I just wanna return n. If it is 0 or 1, I just want to return uh, uh, the n itself. Else, what I want to do here is I want to create a variable called result. And we know that a recursive function is a function that calls itself. So I'm going to say Febo. And each time we need to decrease it, right? So I'm going to say n minus 1 plus Febo n minus 2 n minus 2 that's it very simple and then we are going to say return result now where are the numbers are going to come so we need to grab them from the user as well so we are going to say terms uh, int input enter number of terms when the user enters the number of terms we need to check for some things so if the number of terms is less than or equal to zero we would like to ask the user to please reconsider and please enter a positive positive uh, number if numbers if the number of terms is less than zero or equal to zero in any other case what do we want to do now to be able to work with this you need to call this function first because uh, if you take a look at the way that we have created this function n n minus one and we know this is the n so we need to pass in a an argument for this parameter wherever it is that we need we need to call this function so the first time we are going to call this function and then it is going to call itself through n minus 1 and n minus 2 so how can we actually do that i'm going to say print uh the fibonacci fibonacci sequence uh, the Fibonacci, I'm just going to say the Fibonacci sequence and then I'm going to say for x in range of terms that we have we need to look through them and um, then we are just going to pass and uh, we are just going to print Fibo and we are going to pass an x so let's say the user enters 10 as the terms then we are going to start from 1 and we are going to go all the way to 10 so the first time we are going to pass in uh, as uh, the argument we are going to pass in one and then one is going to be passed in and we know that it, if it is less equal to or less than one we just want to return one so it, it is just going to say one and then the user is going to, and then it is going to be because it's 10 this for loop is going to run over that and it is going to iterate to two then we are going to say two it is not going to satisfy this condition it is going to come in here so two is going to be passed here two minus one we get one the result of this is going to be one because whenever you call the function with the n equals to one then this part is going to run and then we are going to say um, two minus two which is going to be zero so this is going to return one again so we are going to say one plus one which is how the Fibonacci sequence works right so we are going to say 1 plus 1 it is going to return 2 for us then we are going to go to 3 we are going to pass in 3 here 
3 is going to be passed in here. It's not going to satisfy this condition. So it is going to come to the else clause or statement 3 minus 2, we got, th sorry, 3 minus 1, we got 2. Uh, th this function is going to run again. And FIBO 3 minus 2, we are going to get 1. So we got 1 from here. We are going to run the function again. And then we are going to get another 1. So we are going to get 2. And we, we have 2 plus 1. Then we are going to get 3 for the next iteration. So in this case, this Fibonacci using the recursion is going to generate for us the Fibonacci sequence. So if I run this code, it is going to say ask an enter number of terms. If I add 10, you can see that it basically created the Fibonacci sequence for us. So 1 plus 1, 2, 2 plus 1, 3, 3 plus 2, 5, then 8, then 13, 21, 34, and so on. That's it for this mini program. Uh, see you in the next one.